HG1 to 144 Blazing Gundam from Gundam Breaker Battlelog. This kit contains 9 runners, including the pull cups and a medium sized sheet of foil stickers for color correction. And here is the manual of the kit of HG1 to 144 Blazing Gundam. The finish build of this kit was very awesome. Building experience is great but simple and enjoyable. Just be ready for panel lining because this kit shouts for it. Thus, it has a lot of panel line opportunity, especially the white parts. This unit was based on the HGFC G Gundam or the God Gundam that was released on 2010. So expect some 11 to 12 year old style of a kit but with some new gimmicks and aesthetics. And speaking of aesthetics, yes, its details was based on the old kit but it has its own beauty. The color separation was on the spot and together with its good color combination, it gives the kit a new look separating to its old base kit counterpart. Then with color separation, the color correcting stickers were so minimal, I don't even use some of it. I only apply the eye sticker on Blazing Gundam for this more applicable, then some on its forehead camera. Mold lines and seam lines were very minimal. It even has the armor separating seam lines that became a panel line opportunity on its thigh and on its back of the legs. So we can really observe a nice surface detail for this kit. So all in all, the details and aesthetics were very well defined and it's very modern and looks good. Now let's have its articulation. So now let's have the articulation of the Blazing Gundam and we'll start here at the head so the head can go up and down, left and right and yeah it can also rotate 360 if we will, yeah it can go 360 like that just be careful okay so the articulation of the head on the neck is very nice it has this chicken neck also yeah like that so it's very nice so now let's go to the other part next is your shoulders right here so the shoulders can go 360 yes it can and then it can move forward and backward also it can go the shoulders can go up until that height yes until that height right there and then it has this articulation on the elbow but the elbow joint is only at uh, more than a little bit of the 90 degree it doesn't have a double joint right there so yeah it's from 2010 so it's justifiable and then we also have this uh, something boosters right here at the forearm which it has these three articulation points and then we have the wrist right here which it can wiggle and yeah it can also rotate right there so that's your forearm your shoulder and your arms next is the waist right here so the waist can go yeah it can twist it and i think if we will force it, mm, it it can go 360 yes it can but something bumps right here at the back side of the back of the back skirt right here and let's see some up crunch yeah it has a little bit of up crunch right there it can go but it's a little bit loose but it's okay yeah, because it is connected with a joint right there at the inner part of that waist. Okay, so that's your waist and torso. Yeah, it can also wiggle left and right. Nice. Next, we have the skirt. So the skirts can go up and down the side skirt right there. The same with the other side skirt right here. And then the front skirts. Yeah, it can go up and yeah, until that part. Very nice. And the back skirt, mm, yeah, there is a movement of the back skirt. It can move. That's a premium bat flap for me, okay? And then we have the connection here at the joint right here of these uh, swords or the beam sabers, which it can rotate. Yeah, not 
too much it can move but not too much okay so just like that it can move okay so that's it for the skirts okay next so we have here the legs the legs can go up and kick and tell that part yeah very nice and then it can also bend its knees yeah it's double jointed knee but yep because of the armor protection right here or the armor part right here the this part right here bumps at the thigh so it can't extend much but it's okay and then we have some special uh thigh movement right here which it has this something it can rotate yes it can rotate 360 and then we also have here this one which it can open i think this is the feature from the old hg uh hgfc g gundam or god gundam and then we also have here at the feet right here which this ankle guard this yellow claw right here it has a little bit of movement then the feet right here it can wiggle left and right a little bit and then move downward and back and downward and upward a little bit also so not too much articulated but it's good it's the usual hd articulation so it's okay for me so yeah that's it for the articulation of our hg blazing gundam okay so that's it here are some included accessories and weapons of the Blazing Gundam. First, we have here the Beam Tonfa, a pair of melee weapons mounted on the back which can be equipped on the left and right arms. They can generate beam blades from their tips and can also be used as a normal Tonfas. Their special shape allows them to be used for striking attacks and for defense. Next is the Backpack, the combining mechanism with the Core Lander, a machine that can also be used as a small vehicle. Seen in the base unit has been omitted, but the Blazing Gundam has equally excellent propulsion abilities. Next is the Beam Sword. Similar to its base unit, this Gunpla equips beam swords on its waist. They are powerful enough to easily cut through armor made of Gandarium alloy. The swords are also called Blazing Slashes. Next is the Blazing Mask, a mask type anti debuff unit developed by Kudomatsu, a member in charge of supporting team members. Next is the Manipulator. The Manipulators can fire blazing shot attacks where beams are fired from the palms when they are put together. Next is the Blazing Boost Protector. Deployable thruster units equipped on the forearms. They are propulsion devices that can be used to unleash accelerated punches and also enable alternating maneuvers that cannot be performed by normal mobile suits. And last but not the least is the ultimate technique of the Blazing Gundam, the Bakonetsu Baksai Blazing Kick. The thrusters throughout the body are used to their limits and the Blazing Gundam unleashes a super high speed flying kick during its strongest finisher. Its toe glows in a dazzling emerald green color during the kick. Okay, so I've talking about the blazing mask on the last part of the accessories and weapons of the blazing Gundam. So now I will show you on how we will attach that blazing mask on the head of the blazing Gundam. So first, we need to really detach all of the parts on the head of the blazing Gundam. So as you can see here, I'm detaching already the V-fin, the cover of the V-fin which has that sticker. And then we will detach the whole face of the blazing gundam that's the normal face of the blazing gundam so we need to get that and then we need to be ready to have that blazing mask and then attach it onto the face of the blazing gundam okay so as you can see i've already detached it and now i will get the blazing mask as you can see right there that's the orange one and yeah let's attach it and yeah they have the same attachment on the inside of the normal blazing gundam face and then the blazing mask 
Okay, so that's it. And then we will reattach some of the parts of the normal face of the Blazing Gundam. But we also have some new parts, especially the attachment of the V-Fin. We will use still the same V-Fin, but we will have a different attachment, which is now in orange and not in white. So as you can see, I'm attaching it. No, that's right that's it and then now let me attach it to the head so we're still using the same part that white part the same part of the original blazing gandam's face okay so now let's attach the weapon like this it's very easy yeah but a little bit it's easy but a little bit hard because of the weapon okay so that's it on how to attach the blazing mass on the blazing gundam's face and now we have that extra head part and then that uh weapon of the forehead camera and now let's attach it on the head and yeah that will be your blazing mask Okay, so I've mentioned the blazing kick, which is the Bakonetsu Bakosai blazing kick of the Blazing Gundam. So now I will tell you on how to transform it into that mode. So first, we need to get all of those feet and then, yeah, we need to get that ankle armor, <laughs> okay? And then get that emerald green-like feet, which is pointing downward. And then back it to its... A peg joint right there so that you can have it kicking on the ground okay so as you can see there it's pointed on the ground so you can use it standing so yeah you just can only use that when having the pose of the Bakonetsu Bakozai blazing kick so that's it on how to put your blazing kick Okay, so now let's have a size comparison of the Blazing Gundam to other kits. And we have here the Danbol Senki right here. Yeah, it's a little bit taller for that. Danbol Senki. And then we have the Oryx 78-2 Gundam, the original one. And yes, it's a little bit taller of the Blazing Gundam. Then we have the SDG Gundam right here. Yeah, the predecessor, but that's the SD one, okay? It's short because it's an SD. Then we have here the Kyokai Senki, the Miles Scanbo right here. Yeah, the Miles Scanbo is a little bigger because it's because it's one is to 72 scale. Okay. Then we have here my MG Sandrock, and yes, it's big. The MG is really big. Okay, so it's one one hundred. So the Blazing Gundam smaller. Okay. Okay, so now I would just like to add some points that I've observed in this kit. Maybe some of you already noticed this one. But first, the blazing boost protector on its forearms were like the thruster that was attached on the core lander of the G Gundam. But it was miniaturized or make it more smaller so i guess those thrusters working from the sdg gundam which i also showed you on the height comparison so it could fit and be proportionate to the size of its forearms then the ankle guard of the blazing gundam has now the forearm guard of the g gundam or the god gundam but it was modified from two claws to one claw it has a very clever modification to transfer its main weapon from its shining finger to become a blazing kick. So even it is a good kit, it still have some cons. You already saw some of it on its articulation. So the limited ones and the loose ones. So we also have some weapon attachment that was loose too, uh, especially that tonfa on the backpack. But the aesthetics and design just blow those cones away if you just want to display this kit but it is not a toy or a collection that is good for play you'll just have some headaches from it okay so the blazing gundam is truly a fierce and fiery form of a kit it's a great take off of the old revived kit g gundam or the god gundam altering its color combination transferring its main weapon from its shining finger to its blazing kick and changing its support weapon from a saber to a sword and then those stone fuss also then having those fierce blazing mass as a head unit option was very fantastic 
And oh, I almost forgot that very nice emerald green clear part effect for the blazing kick was also a great addition for this kit. Even some articulations were not so great but still it can give you some dynamic poses that the G Gundam can do on the series. All in all, this kit was very great and amazing. Even it has a low number of accessories, yet it can still catch your attention with those first look. Still, I suggest you to add more effort like panel lining, uh, painting some of its details and parts, so you will really give the full potential of this amazing and blazing kit. But in the end, as always and as usual, it still depends on you as a builder on how you will interpret or improve this kit at its best. So that is our review of our Blazing Gundam from Gundam Breaker Battle Log. Okay, so thank you so much guys for watching this vlog, for watching this review. It's a little bit uh, long but it's okay. So I've explained everything about the Blazing Gundam. So if you have some comments or additional infos about Blazing Gundam, just put it on the comment section and let's talk about it. Okay, so that's it for now guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and you have some more information about this kit okay so that's for now thank you so much so good morning good noon good afternoon good evening and good night jake Villapaz signing off god lover show signing off Woo! thank you so much blazing kick let's go bye bye <laughs>